What's up to my friends on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I will be showing you how to link and support a charity on your TikTok account. Now essentially what this is going to do for you is you would get to choose from a long list of charities that TikTok has selected and if you choose whatever charity that you're going to put, let's say American Cancer Society, which is what I have, it will be displayed on your page and any viewers that come across your page will be able to just click on that link and directly donate. It's a great way to support a charity, whichever one you're looking for, as well as I believe most of the ad revenue that you get on TikTok, if any, will also be donated to them as well. So I've already got it pulled up here on my TikTok app, which I will launch. It's pretty simple to get here if you just head over to your profile and click edit profile, just like you'd be changing your username or your profile pic. And you will see towards the bottom there, I believe it's about the sixth option down. There is an option titled nonprofit, which is a little vague, but you could get the point from there that it is any nonprofit organization that you choose that TikTok has from the long list. So you could already see that I am supporting American Cancer Society under my nonprofit. So if I click on that, I could either change it or remove it. It'll be a little bit different if you don't already have one on there, but you should get the gist of it. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to change it just so I could show you guys what you are looking at and see a long list of different nonprofit organizations that you could support on your account. There's also a search bar if you're looking for one in specific. And once you have selected one as your choice, it will save automatically and you can just back out of your profile and it will then be displayed on your profile from here on out. And of course, you could always head back to this menu if you're looking to change it in the future. That's pretty much all there is to it though. If you did have any questions or were confused at all on what they did on this video, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you found this tutorial helpful today, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.